Egypt has gone from having dreams that didn't come true to having a new vision, and now it's starting a bold plan to turn its sands into green landscapes. But how is this happening? Join us as we explore the ambitious mega projects aimed at addressing food security and urban challenges surrounding this massive undertaking. Prepare to see a country's drive to transform its future, where the desert holds the key to unlocking Egypt's untapped potential. Deserts make up over 96% of Egypt's total land area, making the country a desert one. The remaining 4% is home to the majority of the population, with Cairo being one of Egypt's most densely inhabited metropolitan areas. However, the country has severe social, environmental, and political issues, housing constraints, insufficient infrastructure, poor waste management, air pollution, and water scarcity, all represent substantial barriers to sustainable growth. To solve these issues, Egypt has launched major infrastructure projects aimed at converting dry land into productive agriculture. The government is investing billions of dollars in these efforts in order to relieve pressure on its densely populated megacity and improve food security. Egypt intends to use its resources more efficiently and become more self-sufficient in food production by re-engineering the desert and establishing new agricultural regions. This effort is critical since the country relies significantly on food imports, which account for more than half of its food and agricultural product needs. Over the last four decades, great progress has been made in converting arid regions into agricultural land. Previous unsuccessful initiatives, on the other hand, have emphasized the difficulties and complexities inherent in this process. Egypt hopes to solve these challenges by investing in novel techniques and technology, such as biodynamic farming, climate-resilient crops, and sustainable agricultural practices. Organic agricultural practices, crop rotation, water conservation, and biodiversity enhancement are prioritized in these systems. Additionally, efforts are being undertaken to empower farmers around the Nile Delta through biodynamic training programs, allowing crop variety and promoting organic agriculture. Second, an organic agriculture firm has demonstrated the transforming power of sustainable farming techniques. Second, in addition to converting desert sand into fertile crops, stresses fair trade, worker welfare, and community development. Second has become an exceptional model of a socially responsible and ecologically conscientious corporation by reinvesting revenues in critical infrastructure, healthcare facilities, education, and vocational training. The continuous efforts to re-green Egypt's deserts and produce new farmland are critical steps toward resolving the country's social, environmental, and economic concerns. Egypt strives to achieve a bright future for its citizens while protecting the environment and attaining long-term sustainability by integrating sustainable farming methods with holistic approaches to development. Apart from ongoing projects, the Tashka project in Upper Egypt's Aswan was revived by President Abdel Fattah El Sisi in 2014 to become a massive development project after two decades of failure, owing to its predicted economic benefits and relevance in ensuring food security for Egyptians. Tashka project, located in Aswan's South Valley and said to be the largest of its kind in the area, aspires to attain self-sufficiency in wheat, fundamental commodity heavily impacted by the Russia-Ukraine situation. The situation has had an impact on global wheat supplies, particularly because the two fighting countries are among the world's major wheat exporters. According to authorities, Egypt has relied on Russia and Ukraine for almost 80% of its wheat imports in recent years. During the project's launch in December, CC called for the rapid recovery of the Tashka lands in order to produce roughly 500,000 tons of wheat. According to a video shown before the inauguration, the project would reduce Egypt's wheat imports to a fourth of overall consumption. The Tashka project was started in the 1970s, but it ran into a series of roadblocks that prevented it from being completed. The initiative intends to close the food gap by expanding agricultural land to one million fedans in the future. The project was initiated under the tenure of former Prime Minister Hosni Mubarak Kamal al Ghanzori. The initiative also intends to maximize the return on existing resources and increase agricultural exports, so reducing the trade imbalance and creating work possibilities for many young people. The project, which is located 225 kilometers south of Aswan, is intended to promote rehabilitation and ease the human strain on the Nile Valley and Delta. Tashka was launched with the intention of moving water from Lake Nasser 
through a 200 meter wide canal, according to the Ministry of Water Resources and Irrigation. This route connects the Tashka Depression to the Farfa Oasis. When the initiative was initiated, the purpose was to bridge the anticipated $10 billion gap between production and consumption and boost the country's national economy. At the time, after billions of pounds had been spent on the project, reports suggested that what can be cultivated in this region only accounts for 5% of the entire area mentioned in the project owing to several problems. This is despite the fact that there is plenty of water accessible. On top of these hurdles was the presence of a 9 kilometer long granite mountainous wall in the region. According to sources, this is in addition to the challenging character of the soil that, that limits crop cultivation in some locations, such as the high soil salinity in the areas and the increase in infrastructure costs compared to the economic return from the project. During the project's opening in December, CC stated that the granite wall that had slowed progress over the years had been removed by 3 million tons of explosives. The project had suffered from neglect and mismanagement until President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi decided in 2014 to resurrect it as a part of the state's intention to undertake a number of significant projects. The state also hopes to recapture 1 million fadans as part of the national strategy to reclaim 4 million fadans in four years. The initiative is part of the government's ambition to increase Egypt's populated territory from 5% to 25% of its total land area, with all of the demographic, economic, and social consequences involved. The Ministry of Irrigation has built the project's national infrastructure across 350,000 fadans. Tashka is regarded as one of the most important national agricultural enterprises, supplying tons of various agricultural goods to the state. The initiative intends to cover and grow around 600,000 fadans in the Tashka Depression. In addition, the state intends to plant 2.5 million unique Arab date palms as part of the initiative. During the project's opening, Sisi lauded the engineering efforts in the Tashka project, saying they are comparable to the work done to build the $500 million Aswan High Dam. He advised the media to focus more on the accomplishments accomplished to ensure the project's success. CC thanked Gunzori for starting the Toshka project by saying, we are doing the impossible. CC went on an inspection trip to Toshka agricultural fields to see the state-of-the-art wheat harvest season. CC then approved the opening of several wheat silos in numerous governorates via video and watched a documentary on Egypt's successes in securing wheat required for local consumption. According to the documentary, Egypt has cultivated 217,700 fadans of agricultural land as part of the program, which produces around 550,000 tons of wheat yearly. Egypt has also built seven new wheat silos in the Arab al Olaykat district in Qalyubia, Bani Salama in Giza, New Salhia city in Sharkia, and Abu Surir in, in Ismailia, as well as in the areas of San El Hagar, El Hamam, and Karga, with a total storage capacity of 420,000 tons. During the opening event, Egypt's supply minister Ali Moselhi stated that due to necessary steps, Egypt was able to establish resilience against external shocks during the pandemic inflation, as well as the Ukrainian-Russian crisis. Despite the worldwide shocks, Egypt has strategic wheat supplies that lasted this year, according to him. Egypt has so far imported 2.6 million tons of wheat and plans to gather 5.5 to 5.6 million tons of local wheat, implying that strategic wheat stockpiles can last for six to nine months, according to the ministry. Because of the wheat silo project, which began in 2014, storage capacity has grown to 3.4 million tons of wheat, up from 1.2 million tons in 2014. According to the minister, the initiative to build wheat silos has saved at least 10% of yearly wheat loss, amounting to $6.5 billion, which is about the same value as the project so far. According to the minister, Egypt intends to boost strategic wheat reserves capacity to 5 million tons by constructing 60 field silos with a total capacity of 600,000 tons, constructing new silos in Tashka, Shark El Owenat, Daba, Kenya, and Farfra, and increasing storage capacity in certain existing silos. 
As we come to the end of this video of Egypt's incredible struggle to green its deserts, one thing is clear. The future of this ancient land is at risk. Will these daring mega projects provide riches while also addressing the grave issues of food security and overcrowding? Tell us in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more explorations of remarkable transformations around the world.